Let's start. Now we will create a search screen, and it can be accessible from search bar and collection item. For the collection item it will automatically search corresponding collection. For the search bar we only navigate to search screen when we click it. But for collection item, it will bring collection title while navigate, so it can be used as an initial search. Now we will create a search screen and register it in our route generator. In Route Generator we also use Page View Builder, so we can specify the screen transition. In this case we will have slide transition from the bottom to top. Before we continue building our search screen, we will create search repository first. This repository will only have one function to search photos from keyword. And after that we need to create its implementation. The repository implementation need HTTP client so we pass it via constructor. And for the search function we will use try catch so if anything goes wrong, we can re-throw it and catch in our block. We will use async and await in this search function, so after we get the result from the backend or REST API, we will return list photos that we get. And after we create our repository, we will continue create our state management using block or qubit. In our search state, we will have several parameter like keyword, page, photo status, and list of photos. And again, we need to run build runner so the rest of our state will generate it. For our qubit, we need access to our search repository so we will pass it trough constructor. And finally we can continue building our search screen, first we will build our app bar with text field in the center for input or submitting our keyword. The text field will need a several parameter, first a text controller, with this text controller we can add text to our text filed using code, it helpful for our case when we need to set initial value from collection. The initial keyword will pass through model route setting, and if not null we will set our initial keyword.
For the functionality we will create required function in our block or qubit. First on keyword change we will store the keyword in our state, and second is the search function. We forgot to register the block in our root widget, so now we will refactor our code and register the block or qubit in our root widget. And same for repository, we forgot to register it in our main module. This caused an error. To solve this we need to register our search repository in our main module. And now we will create a button to clear our keyword. The button will only show if there is a keyword in our state, and that's why on change text field we store our keyword in our state. Now let's start creating our photos grid from our search result. We will use same configuration like in the home screen, like two widget horizontally, repeated inverted pattern and two to one aspect ratio in height. And the same for photos widget, we'll use same design as in the home screen. For the grid view we need to wrap it in block builder, so we can notify changes in our search state, like initial, loading, success and error. For the initial status we will only show a blank screen, and for the loading status we will show loading widget with shimmer effect, again we'll have same design as in the home screen. For the success status, we will show photos in grid with 2 to 1 aspect ration, and inverted pattern. Like in the home screen it has an image, gradient, and text for photographer name. For the loading widget we can't use the same widget from the home screen because it uses a sliver, and in the search screen we don't use that, so we need to create photo loading widget for search screen without sliver.
And now for the pull refresh and auto pagination or infinite scroll, we will use smart refresher like in the home screen. We will change our block builder with block consumer, so we can have both listener and builder method. For the grid view we need to wrap it in smart refresher widget and setting it up like in the home screen. We will use custom header and a custom footer, and enable both pull up and pull down. And then on put a function that we want in on refresh and on loading. For on refresh we simply call search function again. And for on loading we create a new function that incremented our page and then call search function with new page or next page. And for the listener we need to listen to status changes whether it's success or failed, the animation on refresh or on loading will stop. And for the failed or error it will also show us a snack bar message. And that's it. Thanks for watching.